to celebrate Anthony Tudor and his centennial. Now, knowing Tudor, he is here either looking down or looking up. <laughs> We did those, those difficult, and sometimes we went the other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have an exquisite sensitivity. Um, they become lengthy. They just do. I mean, I've seen more, I mean, I think that Jardin is maybe the most perfect ballet I've ever seen. And it took me 20 years of looking at it to see a performance that I liked. Um, so I was very happy to get that verification. And they were crazy people who danced it. It was at the Royal Danish Ballet, and Anna Lerkesen was on the stage with Henning Kronstam. The curtain went up, and clearly she had been crying and tearing at her costume in the dressing room two minutes before. <laughs> no, no, I was absolutely serious. And suddenly I went, oh my God, that's what he meant. <laughs> Martha Hill tells me you can turn. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just staggering to me that people think that Tudor, that you have to do a Tudor-esque ballet to be influenced by him, but his way of, of perceiving humanity and musicality pervaded, uh, was pervasive in all of the ballet theater repertoire, and you can see it. Thank you. 